Welcome to a showcase about setting up a multi-module system uh, of a dev environment with IntelliJ IDEA and Forge. Now, first of all, you want to go to this URL, files.minecraftforge.net. Now, first of all, before we even start, now that I think of it, you need to be aware of terms, you need to know what I'm talking about. I will not go over very simple stuff. Uh, this is a system used uh, for a bit uh, better a bit uh, for, uh, for people that have more mods than one and want a centralized system for all of them. Now, if you are, you know, not aware of how of what Gradle is and what uh, Forge Gradle is, this is not the place. If you want to know how to install Forge Gradle, this is not the place. For all of those, you will have to do that somewhere else. Let's continue. You want to go to Recommended. I grabbed this one. You can use the 1029 version. Uh, this video may be a bit outdated and you'll have to use a newer version but when you grab the recommended one click source, install it, download it I already have it downloaded right over here now next thing I have this folder oh, I actually have e. open up I actually have this folder uh, right here and in this folder, I have a few of the stuff I uh, use in my workspace. This is my 1.6 workspace. This is an old workspace of mine. This is uh, just the MCP mappings. Nothing special. But what we're going to do is going to do new folder. Now it's called this 1.7 workspace. Just like that. You're going to open this up and you're going to do a few things. First of all, new folder, forge, then another one. I for your own mod. So for me, for example, it's applied. Uh, how do you spell it? Applied. I feel really stupid right now. Uh, eh, not that. Oh my god, I can't spell. Applied thermodynamics. There we go. Just like this. Two. Now this is my module, and I'm also going to add a new one uh, for an API of sorts. For example, for me, it's going to be an API of AE2 API. Now, next, we're going to go into Forge, and we're going to have this folder. Now, what you're going to do is grab your download, the zip, and that's it. We don't need to download anything else. Now, you're going to do uh, open7zip, extract here. You can use whatever you want to extract. I don't really care. Next, you're going to close the uh, deleted the zip. And now you have this, you have your Gradle W, you have all of these things around here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back and we're going to have this system right here. Now you're going to mark this, shift, right click, open command window, and then you're going to have this right in front of you. Next, you're going to do this, Gradle W, setup, decomp, workspace. Now, two dashed lines, stack trace, just like this. Now, you're going to click enter. Now, this should take a good five to ten minutes, depending on your internet speed and your computer. Uh, maybe more. If it takes more than 20 minutes, something has gone wrong, probably. But, otherwise, it should be running, and uh, I'll be back. I'll catch you guys back up when this is over. Welcome back guys, uh, for me it took two minutes, <laughs> surprisingly so, I thought it would take much longer, uh, but you can see I have a few errors here, this is alright, this is fine, this is good even, this is right, well it's not good, but it's, it is what it is, it's just regular, it's normal, don't worry about it. Next, you're going to run Gradle W, idea module, like this, uh, not idea, do not run it like this, this is bad, no. Idea module, not idea. Idea module. I'm sure you got it by now. Then you're gonna click enter. Very good. It's gonna run. And this should take less than a minute. Yeah, there we go. Only 10 seconds, and we are done with this. Now let's close this. Now from here on, we can. We only need to do one more thing. Uh, go into this. Now let's close that actually. And we have this is all empty. Now what do we do here? We actually go to our downloads. This was uh, right here. 
we grab our zipped and now we're going to run 7-zip extract here now you need to do this if you want to use the build script uh, pair project, pair module this is something I do, this is not required uh, for your system but it is something nice of course to edit your build script however it is uh, I am of course not going to go over it, you are smart enough to do it yourself if you are not then find somewhere else to look at it but anyway we are done with this now what we need is oh what's that I have not seen this before here but let's just leave it it leave it be yeah that's fine this is confusing this shouldn't be here uh... surprising oh stop stop it yeah this shouldn't be here it's clearly that uh, that was a remnant from an old project of mine. But anyway, this is what you should have now. Forge with it extracted and loaded with setup decomp workspace. And your mod with uh, the extracted system. Next, we're going to go into yes and quit. Now, open IntelliJ. Let it load up. Now, this is going to hold my 1.6.4 system. You can see I already have it set up with uh, lots of stuff, including the source code for some of my stuff. And we actually want that closed at the moment. We're going to make a new project. Now this is going to be called actually nothing because it's going to be called by itself. 1.7 workspace. You can see that this is already synced. Use uh, 1.7 Java. Uh, I use update 51. It's up to you. And be sure to mark it as a Java project. Next, you know you do not want Groovy. Uh, I want to open it in a new window. Now, first thing you do, you click this, click delete. Uh, yes, delete it. Oh, okay. Delete. Why won't you delete? This is surprising. Okay, you can do this the hard way as well. Open module settings and then go here, click the minus button. Yes. Now that is deleted as it good. Now next you're gonna go into your one point seven workspace and you're gonna hover over this and delete it. You don't need it anymore. And this should be here. This uh leave it as is. It's important. Now first thing we're going to add the forge module. Now to add a forge module you're going to click the plus button. Import module. If you remember we already have the module and you see it already detected it itself. Forge.iml. Okay. You see it has all the libraries it needs. Apply. Okay. And there we go. Now we have a forge module. Now this is already all working all good. And uh, you can see it even has this and we have this as a mistake uh, uh, two string it will find it by itself for example we have all of it done and this is the example mod of course now next thing we want to add is run configurations you can do this in a few ways you can use the gradle way but I like to do it myself just in case so you click here edit configurations click plus application now main class is going to be search by name the launch so net.minecraft.launch wrapper and the vm options now for the vm options you need to do a few stuff now let me open up the my 1.6 system now ignore the errors here and here this is all right now if you look at my vm options over here you can see i have incremental garbage collecting i have my RAM allocation and now this is important FML ignore invalid Minecraft certificates this should be true and over here I also set the path to the library uh, this is needed for the workspace that I have set up so I'm going to copy this go back to my other system now this will be in the um, description below look for it you should find it should be right there 
Now, of course, after you have that written, go over it. Now, just be sure to have the correct path. So over here, remember, we have 1.7. Workspace to your forge now should be under here. Build natives like this. Apply. OK, now. Oh, what happened? OK, anyway, we jumped to the 1.6 system. So now we can see the program arguments here. Now, what we want, we want to copy these almost exactly the same. So we need to open. Oh, uh, where's the run configuration? This is odd. This is odd. Why can I not open? Anyway, let's open back up. Let's edit configurations. Yeah, that that was weird. So let's call this first of all client forge. Uh, I don't see why it closed up to me like this, but anyway, let's paste what we have here. Now, first of all, first fix. 1.7. This is important. The tweak class should stay the same as you see here. This will be in the description. Look at it. Now next you're gonna add this two dashed line access token and then equals FML. Just like this. Apply. Okay. Now we should be good. And go over here. We run client forge. Um, oddly enough, I wonder is it popping up here? Oh, let's close that. Let's run here and uh, let's close this as well. Weirdly enough, I'll see if let's reopen it. Now, this might happen when you do it for yourself, so be sure to you know first reopen before you go running for help. And you see, this is the wrong one. Let's uh, open the other project, the 1.7. Workspace, OK, open in a new window, then close the other one. Good, now we have it. Oh, we have it open up right here. Very good. Yep, this should be right. So, client forge, let's add configuration, let's go over this quickly. We have the path set here um, 1.7 workspace, your RAM, your incremental garbage the version, the tweak class, and the access token. And that is it. Apply, OK. Now let's click Run. And there we go, it's running. Now it crashed. Ah, okay, seems like the access token is uh, wrong how we wrote it, so let's fix that. Ah, you see, this is a stupid mistake. I made the A big, make it sure it's small. Whoops. Let's run it now. And there you go, you can see it's running air, there, there, there we go, opening up. There we go. Now we can create a new world. Actually, not even, we can go into mods just like this and you see you can click config this is a test config screen uh, this seems to be something marked for the future but we can disable this mod for example uh, this is not functional I guess anyway this is your 1.7 workspace now next we want to add our module so new module now be sure to name it apply thermodynamics to or however you name it in the folder no no groovy finish then you can see you have source main and you can see this is all messed up so what you're going to do is going to go here mark directory as unwork <laughs> now next you're going to have to open this up so you have example mod which is weird you don't want that but you're going to mark java mark directory as source root and resources 
mug directory as resources root. And of course, I delete this, and of course, this as well. And I'm going to make my own package just to show you guys that it works. Uh, Contm after. This is my regular go to system. Then my base class. And of course, just change this to proper like this. And of course, then you do your annotations just like this. But you see, oh no, there is no at mod. So what do you do? You add it to the dependencies. So open module settings. Now you, see you have applied thermodynamics. You click on it. Then you click on this plus right here. Add a module. And you add forge. Apply. OK. And there you go. Then suddenly, oh, there it is. Add it. Add all of your mod stuff. You know, however it is. As it always is. And you are done. This is how you set up a 1.7 workspace. Now, of course, you want to add an API. It's exactly the same. Just you also have it depend on Forge, and then on then your project, the mod you add, depend on that. That is it. If you have any questions, ask away. Do not ask me stupid questions. I do not accept those. Uh, and that's about it. Comment below. Everything you need to know is in the description. Bye bye. Quick note guys, I forgot to show you how to run a configuration for this mod that you add. So what you're going to do actually is have a new configuration, edit configuration, and what you're going to do, you're going to duplicate a new application unnamed. Now basically you want exactly what it is here, but I'm going to call this uh, client and AT for apply thermodynamics. You see we have a run configuration. Now, we basically want to copy exactly what it is here. So, paste it. Oh, not that. So, mark off this, copy it over. I'm sure there's a smarter way to know this. I know it. And copy exactly everything. And that is it. Now, something you will probably want to fix that I didn't show before in both the Forge and the client uh, system is the working directory. Now, before we even do that, you can see this is the use class path of mod Forge. Now, over here, you're going to use class path of mod apply thermodynamics, like this. You're going to apply. Now, next, what I usually do is uh, let's open up this. 1.7 workspace and you can see there's all of this crap now we don't want this here we want to put it in a separate folder now we're going to do new folder and I usually have MC MC mod like this over here and over here I just leave this blank and I do working directory MC MC mod just like that there we go apply okay and of course let's just edit configurations do the same over here and see mod apply okay and now if we run uh, for example client at it will run our mod and any mod that will be in the source folder like it used to be in 1.6 so you can see right here it will have all of our saves all of our configs and this is of course a few stuff uh, you can put your mods here you should know how to do this if you don't oh bad luck and of course here's your mod and that is it that, that's finally it bye bye